On the home screen, select Database from the top menu bar. From that drop-down menu list, select PLU. Click on the Maximize button in the top right-hand corner to enlarge. The screen is divided into two columns. On the left is a list of all the PLUs. On the right are the details of the selected PLU. Select Add New to create a new PLU. Enter the PLU number. This number can be any number but has to be unique. We will use 1. If the Import Export checkbox is unchecked, the PLU will not be transferred while updating the scale data. Please make sure it is checked. To spread out the text over multiple lines, press Enter to start a new line. The item code will appear in the barcode as the product identifier. Make sure to use the number that is compatible with your checkout or POS system. Click on the arrow to use the unit mode pull-down to select your pricing unit. Options are pieces, kilogram, pounds, 100 grams. We will use kilogram in our example. We will charge $2.25 per kilogram. If you want to scale to generate profit reports, enter the item cost price. Can be left blank. You can automatically deduct the tear weight during the transaction. Can be left blank. The drop-down list for the Nutritional Facts table is empty because we did not populate this field yet. You must set up the Nutritional Facts table first or come back and link afterwards. You can leave all the other fields blank. Select the label format for the PLU in the Print Info tab. There are many options available. For this example, we will select the default label and the default barcode. Text Info tab is used to store additional text such as the ingredients for the PLU. Text Box 1 is used to import and store your text. You can start a new line by pressing the Enter key. You have a total of 7 text boxes available. For example, you can use the first box for ingredients, the second box for cooking instructions, the third one for allergy warnings. You can choose the location of each text box on the label. Use the Time Info tab to set up the PLU to print the packed on date and best before date. Clicking on the arrow gives you two options, print or not print. To print the packed on date, select print in the print package date menu. To print the best before date, select print in the print shelf date menu. In the Shelf Days field, we specify the number of days the product will be good to consume. As an example, we chose 30 days. After configuring the PLU data, we are ready to send it to the scale. Press the Transmission button at the top. For more detailed instructions on how to send data to the scale, please see the communication tutorial.